Public school bathrooms are now at the center of a national debate. President Trump has revoked guidelines that allow transgender students to use a bathroom that corresponds with their gender identity. Local 12's Megan Mangello talked to students. The sign shows a male, a female, and a handicapped person and says gender neutral. Three of these private single stall bathrooms have been created at Walnut Hills High School. They used to be labeled for men or women to use during school functions. They didn't get used during the school day and there's one down in a different part of the school that also didn't get used um, during the school day and so you know we figured that it would be better so that everybody could feel comfortable if these bathrooms are used during the school day for a use that everybody needed them. Students Talia and Skyler say they went to the principal to have a change not because of anything going on nationally but because of what was happening inside their own school. It's just about you know keeping kids keeping students safe and feeling that they're valued and respected in a place where they spend the majority of their day. What a student does inside the bathroom has become a big debate outside of the school hallways. Federal protection for transgender student bathroom use was handed down by then President Obama in May. Last night, President Trump's administration revoked it, saying there wasn't enough legal analysis or interpretation. Aaron Baer with Citizens for Community Values agrees with President Trump's move. So we're going to be encouraging a policy that says, listen, we have boys facilities and girls facilities, and if kids don't feel safe in those facilities, we can make an, an extra space for them to go to. That's a reasonable solution that everyone that can agree on and provides a safe environment for all. But Sean Jeffers with Cincinnati's Glisten supported the federal mandate, saying if you put the decision in the hands of each state, it's confusing. This isn't necessarily a state's rights issue as much as it is a human rights uh, and kind of an individual rights issue. And so that's, I think, the biggest thing is our students shouldn't have to have to look up a law when they drive five miles across the bridge. There's no clear answer yet to the question, should the federal government intervene? Megan Mangello, Local 12 News. The Supreme Court will hear arguments in a transgender equality case next month. It involves a transgender boy banned from using his Virginia school's bathroom.